Hi, my name's Randy Wayner. I was just going to show you uh, what I uh, have liked about Google Plus and Picasa, which I've been using for a number of years now. Uh, so what I'm showing you here is uh, initially the Google Plus application, which will save a backup of all of the albums or photos that you would like it to. Uh, there's simple tools to do that. Uh, also to show you uh, some pictures I took yesterday on my birthday. Uh, it was kind of an off and on again, rainy day. I was hoping to maybe get a, uh, a rainbow picture. That didn't happen, but there were some nice clouds out, so I ended up taking some pictures of that and my cats that were kind of uh, wandering around outside with me. So I want to show you the initial uh, photos, which we just uh, looked at right out of the camera, and how you can do a change to all of the photos in an album that you've just taken. And you can just do the batch edit option under the picture, and then I'm feeling lucky, and whatever uh, photos you've selected, since I selected the whole album by clicking on uh, the album name, it selected all of them. And within just a few seconds, uh, depending on how many pictures that you have in the album, it will make a change uh, which the I'm feeling lucky is kind of a basic Google search term, but in this case it does make changes to color, contrast, uh, information. So it's it's a basic, easy processing uh, for your photos. Just to kind of clean them up, you can say it, it's kind of dramatic for uh, for these pictures. Sometimes maybe a bit more dramatic than I wanted for this one. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, undo this. It's a non-destructive editing tool. Uh, so you can always go back and any changes that you didn't want um, even after you've saved them, which I'll go ahead and uh, save a copy here in case I want to use these later for uh, sharing with email, Facebook, or whatever. Um, those images will now be able to be uh, used, whatever changes I've just made. You can also synchronize to web, which will go right to your Google Plus album. And so I'm just going ahead and making a copy. Google Plus, or Picasa in this case, will allow you to save all of your images. Um, no charge to you. Uh, you can save as many as you want as uh, web size images, which are around one megapixel. Or you can save a certain amount of images uh, full resolution. Also, I want to show you how you can do a tool to retouch blemishes, or in this case, uh, just some kind of gunk that was uh, here uh, next to my cat's eye. And so you can just select your brush size under the retouch tool. Um, just click, and I found the best results by not moving uh, your mouse at all. Uh, after you've selected the area, it will just kind of look for neighboring uh, pixels and go ahead. And it does a pretty good job, typically, of, of making a pretty good uh, little fix for blemishes, spots, whatever you, you have that you may want to clear up in your photo. So it just takes a moment to apply that here. And then we're all done. All right, and I'm going to go back and show you how to make it an easy uh, fix to this cloud shot that I had. The I'm feeling lucky thing for me was a bit too dramatic, but I did want to up some highlights on this one just to kind of bring out a little bit more uh, contrast to the shot. And so it's uh, synchronizing. It's letting me know I can uh, view this album online. So it have, or it's already made an album I can uh, view and share with people on Google+. And here the adjustment that I had made to my cat is already done. Uh, as well as the cloud image uh, that I just edited through Picasa. It is already uh, synchronized with the Google Plus web, web album. Here I was going to show you something. Uh, there's a lot of kind of behind the scenes called uh, Auto Awesome Photos, and it's uh, Google. Um, if you take a number of images in a row, uh, like I had here outside with the, uh, with the clouds and the leaves were kind of blowing around, I took like a number of shots, four or five shots in a row, and it will make those into an animated GIF for you, which is kind of cool. Um, so there's some some different things. If you shoot raw files, you can uh, you can do auto HDR photos. Uh, it'll do the motion photos. There's uh, if you got a number of people that are uh, smiling in some pictures, but not in others. You have a group shot. It'll do an auto smile kind of thing for you. So there's a, a some some cool things here. Uh, also, since it was my birthday yesterday, I headed over to uh, Baskin Robbins, got me free ice cream, uh, took the picture with my cell phone. I thought maybe I'll just add that to my birthday pics album here since 
It's my birthday yesterday. And so no problem. I've gone ahead and added that in there, added it to the album that I wanted, and then you'll show uh, that it's, it's there. It's in my Google Plus album. And now I was going to show you, uh, say you wanted to save copies for Facebook, um, and you just were wanted to make sure that uh, you know people knew it was your photo, or you didn't want them potentially taking the picture uh, without your credit. So I've gone ahead and just made a a watermark here. So I just used the text tool. I typed. You can choose your font, uh, font size. Uh, I've placed it where I want it. Uh, and I want to do this for multiple pictures, so I'm going to go to Edit and Copy Text. So the text that I just typed in, it will copy that, the position, uh, the size, everything about uh, how that watermark looked. I can uh, select multiple images uh, by holding down Shift, and then I can select the other ones here uh, by holding down the Control key. I didn't select the ice cream cone because it is uh, formatted differently. It's a portrait-sized uh, image, and the others are uh, are landscape size so I wanted to make sure they all kind of look the same and as I go through here uh, it has already done that for me and they're all in the same spot and then I noticed here on this one since the we have the clouds and it's the watermark is right in the spot where there's some fluffy white clouds so I'm gonna just to make sure that shows up, I'm gonna change that text color. I can just go here, change that to black, so that will stand out. Uh, I can apply that. And then if I want to do uh, an edit and paste the text, I can do that. I knew this was gonna kind of go off to the side just based off of how the image was uh, was placed. But I can drag the uh, the text to where I want it and um, that will save there. And so you notice that's synchronizing right now. Now I want to go ahead and export all of these so I can use these potentially to, to put on Facebook or if I want to email. Uh, you can choose how many pixels that you want for your export file. So if you wanted something that was a good size for the internet, uh, you can select about 800 pixels. Um, just go ahead and click export. Uh, in a number of seconds it will make a copy of this to wherever you want it in this case I'm just saving this to my desktop and here is the file on the desktop so I can open up the folder uh, just to make sure that my image is there just how I wanted it I'm gonna open that up to show you and there we got the picture with all the adjustments the watermark everything is there And then to show you the synchronization, I've uh, just gone ahead and clicked the link so it brings back up the uh, Google Plus album. So all of the uh, changes are here, watermark, adjustments that I had made in Picasso. Now for this one, I was going to show you how to use the crop tool. This is uh, some really cool dramatic clouds that I took a picture of, but I didn't necessarily want the, uh, the leaves from the rose bush or the tree that's overhead uh, to be in the picture. So I chose the manual edit mode so I can drag the little handles uh, down to where I'm not getting the leaves uh, in the picture. And so I just select what I want to keep. And once I have that, I just click apply. Um, the rest of that will show up and then that will be synchronized uh, with the Google Plus album now I don't really need the uh, the watermark on all these pictures on my computer so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this I've actually removed it from all of the photos I'm just showing you the one here you can just go back and click the text and you can clear the text it's very easy and then once I've done that just to make sure that uh, that that made the change apply to the Google Plus album. Here we've gone ahead and brought it up. All of the uh, the watermark information is now gone. And the cloud edit that I had just made uh, within Picasa is now showing up uh, just as I had it there in Google Plus. You can also save all of your photos and I've just shown how you can do that here with Google Plus. 
And I really appreciate your time for watching this video. I hope it helps.